What's up guys, it's Susie from HeyGrillHey.com and if you're here that means we already have something in common. We both love good barbecue, which is perfect because at Hey Grill Hey, our whole goal is to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. And you can't be a barbecue hero without epic sides. Today I'm teaching you my method for perfect crispy skillet potatoes. Let's do it. These skillet potatoes are super easy. You really only need three ingredients and a 12 inch cast iron skillet. You need two pounds of baby potatoes. I like to use red potatoes. Two tablespoons of your favorite cooking fat. I recommend beef tallow for these potatoes. And then about a tablespoon of your favorite seasoning. We're using my chicken seasoning today. So for these potatoes, you just wanna get them cut before you put them in your pan. And a lot of people cut their potatoes a lot of different ways. And it's really up to personal preference. You can cut them into tiny cubes, you can quarter them, you can even cut them in halves. But I like to do mine in fairly thin slices. And the reason I like the slices is it gives me more surface area for seasoning and that yummy crispy brown goodness that we're gonna get from the beef tallow and the skillet. We've got our beautiful pile of potatoes. We're gonna preheat a 12 inch cast iron skillet over medium high heat. Next, we need to get our beef tallow into our skillet. I'm using beef tallow because I really like the flavor. I always have some on hand because I cook it down for my brisket trimmings. But if you don't have beef tallow, you can use bacon fat or even butter. Both are really delicious. Once our fat is melted, it's time to add in our sliced potatoes. You actually want to make sure that your pan is preheated because you want that sizzle when you first get your potatoes in the pan. Otherwise, your potatoes will just get starchy and gummy instead of crispy on the edges. Give them a good stir just to get that beef tallow all around the edges of every little piece of potato. And then we're gonna season. Just sprinkle your potatoes with about a tablespoon of your favorite seasoning. Any kind of vegetable seasoning would be absolutely delicious. I have a few homemade options on my website, but the chicken seasoning on these potatoes is the absolute best. It's garlicky, it's oniony, has tons of herbs, and just a hint of citrus. It's perfect. We're just gonna let these potatoes cook for the next 10 to 15 minutes. Every couple of minutes, use your spatula, get to the bottom of the pan and give them a flip. You wanna be pretty gentle when you're stirring so you don't break the potatoes up and make mashed potatoes. Uh, but every couple of minutes, you wanna add some new potatoes to the bottom so they all brown evenly. Potatoes are crispy, delicious. Turn off the heat. Skillets are heavy. <laughs> look at how yummy these are. These look amazing. You can see the nice crispy edges. And this is why I love using these baby red potatoes is they hold together so well in the skillet. Another good option would be Yukon Gold potatoes. I would just stay away from russets for skillet potatoes because they tend to break apart and get really mushy. These are perfect for skillet potatoes though. Now all that's left is to taste them, I guess. And that means that Todd has to come in and help me eat some super hot potatoes. <laughs> Wanna try some sizzly potatoes? Here I am. Taste test Todd. Is this gonna burn my mouth? Maybe, <laughs> I need to blow on it a little bit. They're sizzling, Suze. Okay, I have a question for you. Okay. What's your favorite thing to eat potatoes with? Like chicken as rub. a side dish. No, oh. like, <laughs> <what's>... <laughs> like this. Chicken rub is the best, but what would you eat it with? Um, try to steak, ribeyes. Steak and potatoes. 100%. I like these for breakfast with like a s mm. over easy egg on the top. Now you're talking. Oh, those are so good. I love how crispy the edges get. 
I'm just gonna eat potatoes from a pan. Irby. I always say the sides make a meal. No matter how awesome your main dish is, if you don't have killer sides, it's not gonna be a memorable meal experience. So whip up some skillet potatoes, super easy. We make them all the time to go with our barbecue. All the time. And when you make these, take a picture, post them on social media, and use the hashtag HeyGirlHey. That way Todd and I can see it. Cheer you on on your way to becoming a backyard barbecue hero. See you next time. These won't even too hot.